How to Train Your Dragon is a young adult fantasy novel by Cressida Cowell, which is the first book in a series of the same name. It is set in the fictional Viking world of the archipelago, where dragons are a common part of life, and follows the story of an unusual and unviking like boy named Hiccup Horrendous Haddock III, the son of Stoic the Vast, the chief of the Hairy Hooligan tribe. As the story begins, Hiccup and the other boys of the Hairy Hooligan tribe are undergoing an important rite of passage, Dragon Initiation. To become full-fledged members of the tribe, each boy must capture a dragon from the dragon nursery and train it. This event is crucial, as dragons are not just pets in this society, but are also indicators of one's status and prowess as a Viking. The boys enter the dragon nursery, a cave filled with thousands of sleeping dragons, and have to select and steal a dragon egg. In a frantic attempt laden with danger, Hiccup manages to collect the smallest dragon he can find, whom he later names Toothless due to the dragon's distinct lack of teeth. From the start, Toothless is a disobedient dragon and does not obey Hiccup's commands. Hiccup, being the least Viking-like member of his tribe, small, skinny, and not particularly handsome, now also seems stuck with the least impressive dragon, which doesn't help his desire to finally garner some respect from his fellow Vikings. The novel delves into Hiccup's attempts to train Toothless using his own methods. Unlike the brutal training methods advocated by the Dragon Training Handbook and his tribe, which involve yelling and asserting dominance, Hiccup decides to use a more gentle and intellectual approach. He studies dragons and learns to understand their behavior and language which he consolidates into his own dragon training manual. The plot thickens when a sea dragonus giganticus maximus, a monstrous dragon species, is washed up on shore and disrupts the Viking community's peace. The hairy hooligans initially attempt to kill the beast but end up enraging it instead. In the midst of this chaos, Toothless accidentally enrages it further as he tries to assert his own confidence despite his tiny stature. With the situation growing dire, Hiccup steps forward with a plan to address the threat. Demonstrating the depth of his knowledge and communication skills with dragons, Hiccup communicates with the monstrous dragon, calming it and convincing it to leave peacefully. Through this process, Hiccup gains his dragon's loyalty, with Toothless overcoming his stubbornness to assist Hippa in this daunting task. Hiccup's success in dealing with the sea dragonus Giganticus Maximus proves his worth to his tribe. His unusual methods gain respect not just from the dragons, but also from his fellow Vikings. They are able to see past his physical appearance and appreciate his intelligence, courage, and innovative spirit. Hiccup's father, Stoic the Vast, finally acknowledges his son's alternative strengths. Throughout the story, Hiccup also has to deal with his rival, Snotlout, and deal with the expectations set upon him by his father and society. He comes to terms with his unique identity and learns that being a hero doesn't necessarily mean being the strongest or most conventional warrior. It can also mean being clever, compassionate, and brave in less obvious ways. In the climax, Hiccup is recognized as a true hero and earns his rightful place as a respected member of the tribe. He discovers that being a leader is not about fitting into the traditional mold, but about using one's unique talents to make a difference. His relationship with his dragon, Toothless, also changes from one of mere ownership to mutual respect and friendship. Hiccup's adventures suggest a theme of individuality and challenge the definition of what it means to be a hero. He proves that success can come from understanding, patience, and intelligence rather than brute force. These lessons set the stage for the future novels in the series, where Hiccup's innovative approach to problems and his evolving relationship with dragons will continue to shape his destiny and the world around him. In the end, How to Train Your Dragon provides a story of growth, friendship, and the understanding that true strength comes in many forms. It subverts the traditional expectation of a Viking warrior, promoting the idea that there are many ways to be courageous and successful. Highcraft and Toothless have buoyed up their friendship and proven their worth to the tribe, beginning the tale of an extraordinary partnership that will change the hairy hooligans and the archipelago forever. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.